Hi all, today let's see how to create product variants in Odoo 50. Products can have different variations like size, color, dimension, etc. So Odoo allows us to manage these variants effectively. So here we have our sales module. So in order to create variants, first you have to activate that option from configuration settings. So here we have that option, which allows us to sell variants of a product using attributes which means it can be size, color, material, dimension, etc. So after activating this, just save the settings. Now let's go to products and create a new product. So I'm creating a product shirt and marking tasks can be sold, can be purchased. And let us add some basic details like product type, then invoicing policy, then unit of measure. That is default unit of measure for stock operations and purchase. And here let us set sales price, then cost. And add customer tax, set product category. Then here we can see a tab attributes and variants. So here we can add attributes and values for the product. So this will allow us to create variants for this product. And when you click on add a line, you can find a lot of existing attributes. So these attributes were configured before in Odo. Like here we have brand, legs, color, weight, gender, like this way. So you can choose one from here. And when you choose an attribute, you can find the corresponding values. So you can pick values from here. And if you want to create a new attribute, just come under configuration where we have a menu attributes. So let me save this product. And after that, let's go to attributes. Then we can create a new one. So here, let us add an attribute material. Then you can choose a category for your attributes. So if you want to include this attribute in general features category, you can choose that. Here we have an external link. And when you click on that, you can also find uh, all other related attributes under this category. So these categories can be used in comparison page of e-commerce shop. So we can regroup use these attributes using these categories. And then we can set display type for this attribute. So we have different display types like radio, select, color. And we have a new display type fields, which is added in Odo 50. So let me set it as fields. And then comes the field variance creation mode, which is really important because this is used to decide when the variants need to be created. So variants can be created instantly. Uh, so this allows variants to be created as soon as the attribute and values are added to a product. And when you choose dynamically, then each variant is created only when its corresponding attributes and values are added to a sale order. That is only when there is a demand for the variant. And if you set it as never, then variants are never created for the attribute. So you have to carefully choose this variance creation mode because it cannot be modified once the attribute is used uh, on at least one product. So after choosing the variance creation mode, here you can choose the e-commerce filter visibility. So from e-commerce shop, you can filter products using this attribute. If you make it visible, it will be available. Otherwise it will be hidden in e-commerce shop. Then here we can add values.
Then you can also uh, mark a value as custom if necessary. Then after that, you can save the attribute. So you can see I have created attribute material under general teachers category and with display type fills and variance will be only created dynamically. That is whenever there is a demand. Then I have added three values. So now let's go to a product. Let's search for our shirt. And here for this shirt, you can see already four variants are created. This is created because we have added an attribute color and have set four variants. And the variance creation type of this attribute color is instantly. That's why four variants are created. Now let's add our variant material. Sorry, attribute material. And add values and see the product. So you can see that uh, tab is disappeared, is removed from the product form because we have added an attribute with variance creation mode dynamically. Then here for these attributes, you can find an option to configure it. So you can just click on it. So if I click on the configuration of color attribute, you can view all the product variance values available. And if you choose one, here we have an option to configure that product variant value. So you can add an extra color for uh, a variant and it's also possible to exclude it that is you can exclude for a particular attribute value so if you want to make this value attribute value excluded for shirt with material cotton you can add that so this material will not be available in this color. Like this way, you can add more lines. Now we can save this. The same way we can configure our attribute material and here we have our sleek so we can add an extra price for this varying value so i'm adding 100 as extra price then let me exclude an attribute value it won't be available in black color after that save it so we have configured the product varying values also. Now let's go to configuration settings. So we have two options to select variants from order line. We have variant grid entry, which is used to add several variants to an order line from a grid view. And we have product configurator to select product attributes and optional products from the sale order line. So let's enable this and save the settings. So after that, here you can choose the sales variant selection. So first, let us choose product configurator. Now, let's create a sale order.
who's a customer. So if the shirt is added to the order line, you can see product configurator is shown here. From here, you can view the attributes. So here you can find shirt with attribute color and material and all the values are also shown here. So for color, you can find there are four values and for material also you can see there are three values. And you can see for cotton material, pink color is not available. And if you choose silk, you can see this pink color and black color is not available. So I have added black cotton shirt, one quantity. So if you click on confirm, you can see that is added to the order line. And again, you have to choose a shirt if you want to add a different variant. Because using product configurator, at a time we can only add one product, that is one variant. Then you can see I have chosen yellow shirt in silk material. And you can see for silk material, there's extra charge 100. Now let me confirm. So you can see that is also added to order line. And here you can see red color for these products. This is because we don't have enough quantity. So now let's confirm the sale order. Now if you open the product shirt, you can see three variants are created because there was a demand for these variants. So dynamically, product variants are created. Now again, if you create another sale order and if a different customer purchases a product shirt, now if the customer chooses black wool, and yellow wool. You can see now five variants are created. So this is how we dynamically create variants. Now let us change this sales variant selection mode. So I'm setting it as order grid entry. So this allows us to choose multiple variants at a time from a grid view. So let us create a sale order. So you can view a grid view where you can find all the attributes and its values. So if I want shirt with cotton material in white color, then just click on this. So I'm adding two quantities. Then I want white shirt in silk material. And you can see silk is not available in black and pink. You can see those variants are added to order line. Now, if you add an attribute with variance creation mode, never. So here we have an attribute size. Let us save this. Variance are created instantly. And 
now if we create a sale order you can see different sizes are available okay so you can see these are added to order line now if you go to product you can see variants are not created with that attribute size this is because its variance creation mode is never that is we can view the product variant value created for the product inside the product form and if you want to view and manage all the product variants created in the system then here we have a menu product variants under products so just click on that and we can view all the variants so for the stool you can see three variants are there like this way you can be all the created variants and you can also manage it template level like if you click on variant you can set you can view all the details related to that variant you can set general information sales related purchase inventory accounting so the variant is managed as a separate product itself and we can also manage that is we can also update the quantity of variants like here i can change the counted quantity and apply it so an adjustment will be done so you can see the on hand is changed and we can also view the extra price for that variant so that's how we create and manage product variants in order 50 and please check our video how to create product in order 50 so that you can get a clear idea about product management so that's all for this video and thanks for watching Thank you.